It's the bane of every small business owner, reconciling the company checkbook. It goes on and on, it's complex, you can never find the missing deposits or the deductions or the expenses. It doesn't have to be that way with a QuickBooks accounting system, particularly if you understand how to work through the system. That's why we're here today on Next Biz Success. My name is Lynn Hinderocker, and I'm interviewing Crystal Seabrandt. She's a CPA in Lincoln, Nebraska with HBE Becker Meyer Love. Thanks for joining me. Thanks, Lynn. Yeah, thanks for being here. Well, listen, reconciling the company checkbook is a tough one. We've got a great uh, a shot here uh, behind us on, uh, on what the front of the uh, QuickBooks system looks like. Why don't you tell us how to do it in a painless way so we don't have all these omissions that keep us awake at night? Okay, it's pretty easy. We'll just start with this reconcile icon here. Over on the right-hand side. Clear on the right, yeah. Okay. And basically, it brings up a screen that we have to enter which bank account are we reconciling. Okay, we're working with ABC Bank. ABC Bank, and we're going to say what statement are we looking at. And it's already set for January 31st, 2009. Good. So we receive our statements on a monthly basis, so we're going to do our reconciliation on a monthly basis to keep up with it. Yes. And then it gives you your beginning balance, which will roll forward every time you do a, a reconciliation. So. It's automatically in there for so the last time. So if you don't get time. it correct the first month, then it'll be wrong the second month. Right, right. So it's right. very important that you, you get it right. Yep. And then it'll ask for your ending balance. So what's that ending statement balance? $9,800. That's what ours says. So we enter $9,800. Right. And then down at the bottom, it gives you the option to enter any service charges that you may have had or any interest that you've earned. Oh, so sure. When you get your statement from the mm -hmm. bank, it'll say those at the top. Right. The important part of this is to make sure you assign account to it at the left. So for your interest earned, you assign it to interest income. For your service charges, you assign it to bank charge expense or something of that nature. And the dates of these charges should line up with the dates of the statement? They should. All Whatever right. your bank statement says the date is should be the date that you have on there. Okay. We'll get that done right now. Okay. And we're going to say that on our bank statement we didn't have any interest and we didn't have any service charges. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and hit continue. All right. And then go ahead and just say yes. Okay. And now we're into our reconciliation and we're going to mark all the checks that actually cleared on our bank statement we have sitting in front of us. Okay, so this is the time when you get out the checkbook and, and, and the statement. Yep, and the have statement's it most year. important. Okay, the statement. So looking at that, we are going to say that check number 1001 cleared. So we're going to mark that with a check on the left. Okay, that's already marked. Okay, and then we're also going to mark our deposit on January 31st because it cleared the bank. And it is already marked. Okay. And so then how you know if you're reconciled or not is by looking down at this little reconciliation to the right that says your ending balance per your statement was $9,800 mm -hmm. and your cleared balance is $9,800. And that's based upon the information up here in this window. Whatever you've checked, it's going to calculate what your balance should be based on those check marks that you've made. And you're only going to want to check mark the ones that are on your bank statement. Right. And you just go down your bank statement for checks that have cleared and deposits that have cleared. Okay. What do we do now? That's how easy it is. Really? Yeah. The whole process is over? It's over. <laughs> I've seen bookkeepers break into tears for weeks over reconciling company uh, checkbooks. And you know why that is, Lynn? A lot of people don't keep up with the daily routine of entering all their checks and entering all their deposits that we talked about earlier. You need to follow that progression through on a day-to-day -day basis. Create your invoices, receive your payments, make your deposits. Okay. Enter your bills and pay your bills. And if you're doing that all within the QuickBooks system, on a weekly basis, the reconciliation will be a piece of cake. So weekly is what you pretty much recommend that we sit down once a week and, and, and enter the checks that we've sent. Yeah, it really has to be your routine. You need to set aside time whenever is best for you. But, you know, weekly is, you've got a large number of transactions usually in a week. So at least weekly, I would say. Now, if you do come up with a difference between what QuickBooks says and what the bank statement says, um, you know, how difficult is it to track down the, the reason why? Really, you should be able to tell just by looking through your statement. And what often occurs, let's just go back to our screen here, is that you find that you forgot to record a check or a deposit, so you're missing one. Okay. And what you can do is you can actually just hit this leave button and leave this screen, record your check, come right back, and you'll have all the information you've already reconciled, and you'll just need to select that that one check cleared and then it should get you back in balance. So Take it's real versatile that you can leave and come back. 
That is very handy. Can you show me how you would do that? You would hit leave and then go to another icon on the front here? Let's say we forgot to record a check. Yeah. We'd hit leave and then we'd go and we'd pay a bill. Ah, okay. And we'd, we'd go through that process we've talked about earlier about paying a bill and entering what check number it was. And then when we pull this reconcile screen back up, go back to all the outstanding checks, you should see that check in there now that, that you can mark. Um, it's right in there. And then you would mm -hmm. hit reconcile now at that point? When you're done and you know that you're in balance, you'd hit reconcile now. And, and it, that's when you know you've got everything's clear. Right. And it will actually create a reconciliation report for you that you can keep ah. so that you can refer back to it if you're having trouble later getting right. to the right balance. Sometimes checks will get lost in the mail or something like that will happen a month or two months down the road and the balance isn't the same because nobody ever cashed the check you sent them or whatever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can you do that process here then? What do you do? You go back and uh, omit it or recut the check or what do you do? You would probably want to void your first check and ah. then go back and recut a new check. Great. All mm -hmm. right. Well, you know, most small business people think that this is so simple because of the QuickBooks system. Sometimes they do put it off, mm -hmm. right? They think you can just mass input an entire month or more right. worth of deposits and expenses, right? Right. Absolutely. Not a, not a good thing to do. That's where the headaches come from. <laughs> what do you have right here? This is the reconciliation summary report, right? This is the summary report, what it will look like when you hit that reconcile now. Mm -hmm. um, this is the summary, so it just tells you beginning balance, total checks that cleared, and deposits. And then you'll also get a reconciliation detail which actually shows the um, all the checks that cleared and all the deposits that cleared. More information, more right. detail. And I see this is by bank or by bank account. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if you have more than one bank account, you need to reconcile, obviously, all of them. Right, right. So if you have two bank accounts, you'll go through the procedure twice in a month. All right. Well, this is the toughest process on a regular basis that most small businesses have. You've made right. it so simple. We're going to finish <laughs> early, Crystal C. Brandt with HBE Beckermeyer Love. Thank you very much for your help. You bet. My name is Lynn Hinderocker. This is Next Biz Success and one of the tedious, most tedious processes that every businessman struggles with. It's simple. It's easy. You can do it. Get it done. Reconcile your bank statement. Move on. Make some money. Keep on going <laughs> and keep on growing. Thank you.